Hi guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving some of the items that we've collected over the years in Freemasonry by telling the stories of how we acquired them or the history of those items. Uh, today on the program, I've got kind of an interesting uh, piece, and it is a challenge coin of sorts. It's not your traditional shape, it's a square. And uh, again, we'll put some, uh, overlay some images for the video here. Okay, and the back side. Now what this is, it actually says Illuminati, um, but it's in that reversed kind of upside down script, so it looks the same whichever way. And it's got the all-seeing eye and the uh, triad there uh, on both sides. And it says uh, on the back, it says earth, air, fire, water. So the four elements are, are all on there also. It's, in, it's got the red border around there, and it says the four elements guide you on the path to illumination, right? So that's kind of interesting. And uh, the thing is, is that on this side, the, the uh, front, it says Novus Ordo Seclorum, or the New Order. Um, but it, here's the deal, is this is a geo coin. Uh, if you don't know what a geo coin is, it's for geocaching. Uh, you can track this coin if I were to ever put it in a geocache and uh, it would travel all over the world and you could see where it's been if you go to like geocaching.com and you sign in or whatever and you check it out. What is geocaching? Uh, a lot of guys might have that question if you're watching this. Um, famously, the geocachers, we've always said it's the sport where you are the search engine. Uh, it's an interesting thing. Basically, you put together a small box or whatever we call it a cache okay and then you hide it somewhere you mark down the uh, gps coordinates and you put a little log book in inside the cache and you leave it there and you put the coordinates on the website people go find it they open it up they take something out they leave something in it they write their name when they found it then they go back home they go on their app or they're on their computer and they log where they found it and it's really fun and you hide and it's like treasure hunting essentially how do you do this? Well, back in the day when I started, uh, this was my first uh, GPS unit. Uh, probably back in oh, 2003, uh, I bought this little E-Trex. Uh, I went through two of these. One of them, my screen broke, keeping it in my backpack. Um, this one was interesting in that it didn't show, it doesn't have roads, it doesn't have anything. It just shows where you are and in relation to the cache that you're looking for. You put in latitude and longitudinal coordinates and uh, there's a straight line leading to it. Now, you don't know how to get there, right? Like there's, like again, there's no roads or anything on this. So you just had to find your way. Uh, a few years later, um, I spent a couple hundred dollars and I picked up uh, this Magellan Explorist 300. And this was cool. Um, I... I liked this one because it showed roads, and when I was living in Los Angeles, I would drive everywhere, um, and of course, I could drive to where a lot of the caches were, so it was really cool. Now, though, there's just an app on your phone you can download, and I think uh, just use that, and uh, I want to say it's a couple bucks if you want to be a member and have some better access to some of the things, but uh, in any case, it's a really fun sport where you get to go out and track things, and what's neat are sometimes we find these little Masonic tokens. Now this one I just bought. Um, actually it was bought for me by Frodero, a good friend of mine. And uh, he sent me this and I just don't wanna put it inside of a geocache. Um, I just like it so I keep it along with my coins or whatever, but uh, maybe one day I will plant this in a cache somewhere here in Illinois and uh, somebody will go and find it. So. Um, and for a while, there was a really neat thing. It was a Masonic Geocaching Society. Uh, maybe you're a member of that, maybe not. Uh, if, if not, or you want to know more about it, certainly Google search it. I'll try to put some links in the uh, uh, little notes here on YouTube. Uh, but if you've got anything cool you want to showcase, or maybe you uh, have some kind of neat Masonic Geocoin, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments below there. And uh, again, if you've got a neat showcase item, feel free to make a video. Go to MasonicCurators.com and uh, check out the submission guidelines. I'll help you however I can. I'll edit the video, whatever you need. 
uh, just send it on over and we'll make it happen. So thanks everybody for watching and until next time, we'll see you.